All right, let's start with the project. That means it's a workflow thing, right? But you can either do a clone, a fork, or you just go download it and put it locally. So this is the code that he provides at this point in time, yesterday. Subcode, go get it. We're going to put it in the official place. What's the official place? It's going to be part of, let's see. It's going to be part of, I'm going to give it a separate AA folder. So there is ALCI, there is Carly, there is Arco. Let's give it a folder called AA. And then we're going to git clone it. Git clone like this. So this is the official code, right? That's the official code. You might want to change the name. Um, to official. You can change the name of the, um, the folder. There's no problem. So in a month's time, you go in there and you say, let's see what has changed. Git pull. And you see what has changed. If you want to read what he's doing, open with git hat, open with git find, something, right? Open it with a tool. And the last things that have been changed is information about pipewire what to do now it is enabled by default already and execute these things is hashtagged out so not used here there was a typo and so on right you can really follow everything along those lines so keep track of things that's the official alice now this one is untouched. You don't change anything there. It's his, right? We're going to create our own with the same code, of course, of this time. In a month time, you'll melt these two, right? You have two folders and you can select them. But first, we need our own project. So we go back to Article Nix and we give it a new name and call it also Alice, which is maybe strange, but it's simple. It's another GitHub. Alice. Okay. So become part of GitHub, GitLab, whatever. But you need to have something online so you can pull it in. You have a backup. It's fast. It's easy. It's shared as well. Other people can learn from you. And that's, of course, why we do it primarily. Um, here, right? So I've got myself a GitHub empty. Git clone this. So I've got myself my thing, his thing. We can make it bigger, eh? official. Voila. Now I'm going to copy paste everything except maybe the website I see there. Control C, Alice, Control V. So this is the website, the information about the website. This can go. This is all about uh, this. This can stay. Packer I see site. Site is a site built. This can stay. Can can go. So that one can go. Now. I have to get everything online. What we always do is use tools. How to get stuff online is with a git, a command. <clears throat> now there are so many um, out there already. Uh, can I use I can use which ones are the last ones? 
to push online. Um, pop, 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 pop. Really not sure which one to get. So let me pause here. All right, in the meantime, I've created myself a um, newer Git script. And the Git script is basically this thing uh, that's, that's new. And the idea there is that we used to have in GitHub a branch called master. But these days when we create new GitHubs, it's called main. So this is what I did to solve um, yeah, the, the, the difference between hundreds, two hundreds maybe of, of GitHubs that if indeed somewhere in there is the word main, then we're going to push it to main. And if the word master is in there, we're going to push it to master and everything is solved that way. So this is the new Git that maybe you should um, have a look at your own GitHubs and, and pushes. And I've already pushed to the internet. So that's already okay. Let's have a look. Where, ooh, what did I do? What is all that? This can be closed, whatever that was. So we uh, have to reopen Firefox. Let me do that first to the right of the screen. Then kill all my Git pages except the one from Arclix ISO. Close multiple tabs, other tabs, and move back to this side of the world. <laughs> All right, so refresh. Here's Alice updated two minutes ago. And this is what we pushed online. First commit, it's exactly the same copy. The text is from him, right? Copy paste, but there is already a difference. Let's have a look if that's okay. That difference, if we compare, we have there is a hidden file, a hidden folder in there, GitHub and site and ignore. And we have our own Git version to push, an easy thing to push and set up our Git credentials, easy way to, to for us to push to the internet. So you can do both of these change, of course, to Git credentials. So the site is what I've deleted. And that's SAS elements, components, elements. Yeah, we don't need that. That can go. All the rest we keep, okay? So that's the first step. Figure out, well, not figure out, but, but have something that's ours and have a reference point, official Alice. Then I'll go into detail in the next video of what is what's is important this is a workflow thing all right